What's up, guys? Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today, I've got my hands on the latest Z Blaze Thor S Android smartwatch. This is the latest full Android smartwatch by Z Blaze, and this model has a 5 megapixel front facing camera, which would be ideal for video chats. Now, I have never seen a smartwatch with a front facing camera before, so this one will be quite interesting to test. So as usual, we begin with a quick unboxing, followed by a walkthrough of the watch features, apps included, a battery test, some gaming, and finishing off with a benchmark test to see how it compares with all the current popular smartwatches. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So you have a beautiful 1.39 inch AMOLED screen with a resolution of 400 by 400. This is also protected by Gorilla Glass 4. The CPU is the MediaTek 6580 quad-core running at 1.3 gigahertz. You've got one gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage. You've got a five megapixel front-facing camera, Bluetooth version 4, GPS, and Wi-Fi BGN. You've got a 3G nano SIM card slot. This is running the full version of Android 5.1. You've got a built-in heart rate monitor and pedometer. There is a 350 milliamp battery, and this watch is actually not waterproof. So this is everything you get in the box. You get the user manual, a tiny screwdriver with some spare screws, and a USB charging cable. So this is what the charger cable looks like. You've got magnetic pins with a USB cable on the end. So here it is guys, the Z Blaze Thor S. Now the straps are made from silicon and they're very thick, um, thicker than your usual straps. And also this part just does not bend. There's no flex to it. So as you can see, this part just doesn't bend. I understand that these straps are not removable. So let's have a closer look. So on the front at the top over here is a five megapixel camera. Yeah, you've got time markings going all the way around. The watch is made completely from metal. Um, it feels very solid and durable. So on this side, you have a back button and a call button. And on the other side, you have just a power button. Underneath you have a charger pin, the SIM tray, and a built-in heart rate monitor. I'll quickly show you how the charger works. So it's just a magnetic connection and it attaches immediately and it will take around 1.5 to 2 hours to fully charge this watch up. We will test the battery later on to give you guys an idea of how long the battery will last. So this is the default watch face. It is a sporty look. So to change the watch face, all we do is click on the center and you can see there are so many watch faces that you can change to. So I'll give you a quick demo of all the watch faces on the screen right now. So when you get to the end of the list, you have a plus sign and if you click it, you'll be able to download and install so many different watch faces. And as you can see, you can download it just by clicking and it installs in seconds. So I just installed three or four. I'll go back and show you them. So here they are at the end. These are all the ones I just installed. So if I just click one of them, there you go. So if you swipe down from the top, you get your connection information, battery life, etc. If, if you swipe to your left, you've got your quick toggles for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, data, etc. If you keep going, you've got weather information as well. Okay, if we go back, now if we swipe up from the bottom, you've got your health information. This tells you how many steps you've taken, how many distances you've done with averages. If we keep going, again, you've got your step counter, your pedometer, you've got your distance there, and you've got how many calories got burnt. All right. Let's go back. So if you swipe to the right, you've got your notifications. So if there are any notifications, they will appear in this section. And if you swipe to the left, you've got all your apps. So let's quickly go through all the apps. You've got contacts, phone, messaging, settings, web browser, calendar, clock, your camera, gallery, music, sound recorder, file manager, health, weather, voice search, play store, so you've got the Google Play Store here. Um, you can download any full Android game and app and it will work on this. You also got voice search. So you can do Google voice searches on this. 
which is very useful. And you've also got the full version of Google Maps. So you can use turn-by-turn -turn navigation on this via Google Maps. This is your Connect phone, so you can change to a different phone if you want to. Sports Target, Remote Capture, Music Control, Find My Device, Switch Platforms and Sports Data. There's a lot of stuff for health and sports on this watch I've noticed. So what I want to do now, first of all, is go straight to the camera. So I'm going to take a few pictures and we're going to see how they come out. So you have great clarity on the video calls on both screens and you can see the colours and details of the logo on the box. So that was a camera, we tried some pictures and videos. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the health section. If I click on heart rate monitor, you will see the green light at the bottom on. And now this will check your heart rate. So the heart rate does get recorded with date and timestamps. The information also gets synced to your smartphone as well. So I've just installed a few apps from the Play Store. I'm going to test them out now. Let's begin with some YouTube videos. So CPU-Z shows that there is no root access from default. So this smartwatch has a 350 milliamp battery and to give you guys a very rough idea of the battery life, we will run a 30 minute on-screen test and we'll see the consumption at the end. So the Wi-Fi is on, brightness is on medium, everything else will be off. So let's begin. So here are the results. We went from 100% to 89% in 30 minutes. That's an 11% drop in 30 minutes, which translates to 110% drop in five hours. So you can expect around five hours of on-screen time with this smartwatch. And in the Anti-2 test, we got a total score of 20,520. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing smartwatch chart for 2017, showing you all the latest smartwatches and seeing how they compare with each other. So the latest Z-Blaze Thor S has achieved number 8 on this chart. I'll keep this list updated with every new smartwatch I review and you can view all my charts at chigstech.com. So it'll be interesting to see which smartwatch I review next and what the overall score it will achieve. So stay tuned as there's lots more to come. So there you have it guys, that was the Z-Blaze Thor S Android smartwatch. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. Now this watch is made from metal, feels very durable and comfortable to wear. At the same time you've got a sporty look to it and the AMOLED screen is absolutely beautiful and ultra bright. You can add a nano SIM card and it will effectively become a full featured smartphone capable of running full Android games and apps. This is quite a powerful smartwatch and everything I did on it ran super smooth. You can do plenty with this smartwatch and it's got some great features. The only letdown is the battery life, it's not the best, pretty much the same as any other similar smartwatch. You can achieve up to 8 hours on medium to light use, then it takes around 70 to 80 minutes to fully charge up again. The speaker distorts on the loudest volume, it could be the unit I received, as I've never experienced this issue with any other smartwatch, including the previous Z-Blaze Thor. But it was quite easy to turn down the volume slightly, and then that issue was no longer apparent. 
Bottom line, this is an amazing smartwatch with some great sporty features. I absolutely love the AMOLED screen and speedy performance. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this smartwatch. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys. Bye.